So there's a lot of work to do. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you how I'm gonna treat my fruit trees. Here's some of my fruit tree guys. So you can see they start budding out and everything. So I know all those insects and everything. They would overwinter in the soil or on the trunks or anything like that. So now that they're budding out, we need to spray them before the flowers come because we need to encourage the bees. So this is some of the cherry tree. So I have my solution here. So this is a two liter bottle. So I put some warm water in there. I put some neem, roughly like a tablespoon of neem a tablespoon of baking soda about a teaspoon of oil so it's greasy and it can climb up and that's it guys so i'm gonna mix it all up and i put a little bit of castile soap as well so it's a pumping one so all i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna pump it up to get the pressure and then i'll spray the trunk the leaves i'm gonna spray everything so if any bugs been overwintering on my trees then this should get rid of them because what happened i don't want to bite into any of my soft fruits or my stone fruit and find any bugs so like this one i think i had this on originally last year to stop the ants and the grease and everything so i'm going to take it off totally and then i'm just going to spray it spray all over it guys everywhere so you just spray and that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna spray all of my trees so every single one is gonna get a good washing so go around the other side oops if I can get around here so I go around the other side and then I spray it as well spray the bark spray the top of the wood chip as well so if they're in there so remember I have the cascades Castile soap and I have the neem and I have a little bit of oil So spray all of it guys you can smell the neem. It's best to spray it in the early morning or in the late evening and Then guys try to spray it Before the flowers come out so you can see this cherry tree here the color of all changed and It's all spray. I think I missed a spot right there all spray and then that's all I'm gonna do guys I'm gonna go around I'm gonna spray everything so I'm gonna just show some of the trees fruit trees that's budding out before and this one is a raspberry cane so you can see the raspberry cane but in also I'm just about cut it in time before the blossoms start shooting out so I'm gonna go around and do that so yes guys let me know what you use to treat your trees because I'm trying to do everything organically so that's what I do I always try to use neem but remember neem is very strong so be cautious when using it and use it when the Sun is not hot otherwise you scorch all the leaves of the tree so here's the plum tree remember my original plum tree that the graft a bit die and the original shoot up it's looking very promising like I'll discover what type of plum it is this year so I'm gonna go around and spray this one as well this is another cherry tree I'm at the front of the garden guys so I did move some of the plants eventually to the back so I'm just showing the ones at the front so you can see all the buds coming through guys this is a happy stage when you can see all the buds forming you know that spring is in the hair and you soon be getting some nice fresh fruit and then my arona berry starting to leaf so you can see the leaf coming on on the arona berry there so i'm planning to get this i keep on trimming it in the previous years but i want so much arona berry this year guys so i'm just going to encourage it to branch out wherever it wants to branch and i can see it's leafing out and it's looking nice i'm just gonna come and put some fresh compost and some liquid seaweed and feed it up and thing and then over here my golden delicious that i purchased late late summer last year it was late late summer it's budding out now 
you can see it everywhere so i need to spray it guys before all the blossom comes in you can see the sun is going down and the shade is a bit so you can see it's budding out there so that's my apple and then this is my john of gold so you can see my john of gold there so and then guys look at this just look at this let us if i can capture the best possible image this was my pear tree that i grafted onto my john of gold can you see life in it guys can you see life in it it's so sunny and i'm just hoping you can see here so i'm a pear tree yes can you see the pear tree guys that's a grafted pear onto my john of gold it has totally taken can you see i'm not sure if i'm gonna get any pear from it this year but guys my graph was 100 percent successful so you can see it's budding out there on my john of gold so i'm gonna have my apples and i'm gonna have my pear and you can see the apples are rearing to go guys so that's all i'm gonna do today into spray this tree so any insects or anything that have their eggs or anything on the stems on the any part of the tree will die okay so thanks for viewing guys thanks for watching go out spray your soft fruits and your stone fruits because it's almost time for the blossoms to come around so until next time guys keep gardening and i see you guys soon bye bye like share subscribe and click the notification bell